Hello, Gary. How you doing? What? I'm sure worn out. There's so many requests you guys are making. You have about 30 songs that you requested. And I wish you'd do like me, like I'm used to a long, long time ago. Put the name of the title of the song first so I won't get so confused. It'll help me go through the song much quicker and figure which one is a good one to do. And if I could do it, most likely I can do it. But uh, what I'm worried about is a song that'll help me get to 200,000 subscribers, not hurt me. I don't want to go the other way. <laughs> um, well, as far as my marriage is concerned, um, my wife didn't say one word to me today. Maybe she'll get over it. Maybe she won't. But what, um, whatever she does, I hope uh, she does the right decision. As I'm getting too old to take care of myself, I'm having thoughts of what to do if she does. I don't know if, if I should go live with my son over there in San Antonio. Much has the same weather almost as uh, here. But in San Antonio, they don't have that many karaoke places. Because I've been here two, two or three times already. There's one good place. and uh, But it's not as great as some of the places here. I don't think they like karaoke that much in San Antonio. Or rather, not too familiar and haven't found the right place yet. There's one uh, Irish bar right yeah. just south of the city, it's out of San, San Antonio. Okay. That was pretty good. And there's Dave's Place, which everybody goes to. The was the most popular site there. Anyway, uh, or just should I stay here in Jacksonville and get a centralized apartment about equal distance to the grocery store, Walgreens, uh, and my karaoke bars, the ones I like. Um, there's, it would be on the other side of the St. John's River for me, and maybe a little, about the same distance south as where I am now, but not as south as Orange Park. Built so much to think of, but I was wondering if you want to help me with something. And I'll give you a hundred dollar check if you get the right answer. But uh, you have to know a lot about violin instrumentals that means people my fans when I say that that means there's only violins in the song there's no other instrument played and there's no singing do you understand do I have to repeat myself I'll give you a hundred dollars if you find me the name of the music I'm looking for because it's been haunting me since 1954 Let's see, that's 46, so 56, 19. That's, uh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's 46 and 19. Okay. That's 65 years ago, people. <laughs> that's a long time. So I must be talking to an older fan if I got one out there. You're going to have to be as, about as old as me. Because I was a young kid when I heard that song on the radio, on my AM radio, and I loved it. Guess what? I never heard the damn thing played again. If I did, if I hurried up to use my Shazam, maybe I would catch the name of it. But I think that possibility is like one out of a million. Maybe one of you fans out there know uh, violin music. Maybe you're an expert. Maybe you're, you could win that hundred bucks for me. All I can do for you is hum it. And what's the chances of only 190,000 people? And how many of those 190,000 people that are listening right now are going to listen to it later? It doesn't have to be now. They can always view it later. Especially since you guys like uh, streaming so much. This is just a streaming. Uh, a different way where you're not typing a bunch of stuff on questions and names of who is here and all that junk that I've seen my wife do. She likes to say, oh, oh, so-and-so and so and so is here. Oh, that's great. Oh, that junk. 
uh, it's not junk to me. I mean, uh, I know you like to hear your name announced on the air, and all the other fans can hear me talk and say your name, yeah, and it makes it makes you happy. I can understand that. I was just joking. Um, I can hunt the songs, and that's all I can do. Are you game? Well, you can't answer because I'm not on live stream. But, um, well, maybe you are. Maybe you can use a hundred bucks for uh, a Valentine's Day present for your girlfriend or your wife. Maybe something I should have done a long time ago, too. <laughs> oh, well, um, how many people can sing in Helen Fine like me? There's not that many people out there. Maybe she found another man right on her streaming club. Who knows? Someone better to me, someone younger than me, would be improvement. <laughs> you can't have everything in life, people. You want an old man like me with some money, or again, a young man with no money, and make you have to work twice as hard for him, you girls. <laughs> you got some choice, huh? Oh well, I'm sure you all want somebody about your age or younger. That makes a good good buck. It's a kind of handsome and whatever for your woman, you know. I know you as your woman are the same as the scribes. We want a woman with a sexy figure and uh, listen to every word that we say, agree with us, and uh, keep the house clean, keep everything running, and uh, when it's time to go to bed, say, "Oh, I'm ready, honey. Let's go." <laughs> Well, men have their uh, wishes of what a woman should be like, and women have their idea of what a man should be like. But uh, let's not get into the sexy talk now, and uh, it's a little bit dirty. Plus, uh, I'm sure there's some little children listening, because PewDiePie sent a bunch of them over to me. <laughs> Five years old? Thanks a lot, PewDiePie. I'm sure you guys can really uh, support a cause. And because they won't get a checking account until they're about 20 years from now. <laughs> oh well, I ain't worried about painting your, your, your panties, little kids, don't worry. Just uh, go back in the corner and do something else and play a game because some of this adult talk you're not ready for yet. Anyway, um, let me see if I can hum the tune. I'm not, I'm serious. I'll write a hundred dollar check and send it to you. If you uh, share it, maybe you'll have to open a post office box or something if you don't even want me to know where you live. But I'm not gonna come down and hunt you people. I got a thousand other things to do. And I don't care about going over and uh, uh, showing up in your house with a gun and say, bring my money back. I don't care about that. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say this, I wouldn't send it in the first place. But if you want to keep your address anonymous from all your other fans that are on this station, I can see that. Maybe you want to, I have to get a special post office number, or you can send it to my wife. And maybe, uh, then, uh, well, the name of the song, all you have to do is write it on um, my channel. That's all you have to do. And see if you're right. If I play it, if I put it down, and my tabletop and play it and it sounds like the song is correct I will pay gladly pay you a hundred dollars just to give you some initiative to find it or maybe not a single one of my fans is is interested in violin music and maybe but you know somebody who is maybe a violin uh, instrument, instrument teacher at school or something like that who knows? Anyway, listen carefully. I'm going to try to hum this song. And uh, think of violins when I'm humming. I know I can't sound like a violin, people. But I can some hum the melody. Are you ready to hear it? Can you uh, take the song that I'm humming and uh, turn it into violin music in your head? I don't know. Some people have the head ability, some don't. Anyway, I'm gonna do it now. Let me see now. 
da 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 you can hear it over and over again because this, you can play my video over and over again to your violin teacher. Maybe you know some old pe first people that are around, they were in their 20s or 30s or 40s back in the early 50s. Because I heard it, I think I heard it around 1953 or 1954 when I was a little boy, about nine years old, and never heard it again on the radio. And it's something I want to know before I kick the bucket what the name of that song was. I gotta let know it my soul phone. What? That wasn't. Oh, is somebody answering me? How can you get my number that quick, people? How did you know that? Oh, wait a minute. It must be a message. No, it's not a message. Must be a, some, a phone message. Who would know that? It's probably nothing. Oh, I'll figure out later. Somebody's trying to get home. I don't think it's got nothing to do with the song I just hummed. Uh, anyway, if you can figure it out, and it's a Kretsch song, I punch those, well, name of that song into the internet here. Or you got uh, a recording of it, and send me the, the call there is for it, and it's this right song. That would be, you would say, me doing that. But um, let's see how good your ear is, people. I know something, maybe one of you, 200, uh, 100, and 91,000 fans know the answer. Who knows? And I'll finally know what the name of that song was that I've been hunting for since 1954 and never found. I mean, I went through two or three hours of listening to violin concertos and not finding anything close to that music. And it wears me out. I've just given up. Anyway, there you go, people. And maybe uh, sometime this week I'll do a live stream. But with all those requests you made for those songs, I don't know. But if you do make a quest from now on, I'll forgive you for the past. Please put the title down first, because an old man like me don't even know what the name of the song is. I mean, it's my mistake artist for the name of the title of the song. Put the title of the song first, and then the artist, a comma, if you will, and then the name of the artist, if you know it. If you mean the title only, make sure it's the correct title. I had people who uh, are, I'm just going to listen to some of the songs, just listen to him and see if they're any good or not. And like when somebody wrote one at Barracuda, Wet Dreams Cold. You know, uh, the title is Wet Dreams, people. Please be use a title first. I don't know, do you want to sing a song about a fish or about somebody's wet dreams? <laughs> you know, make it easy for me, for an old man who used to the old way of doing anything, put the title down first, and then uh, the name of the artist. Okay, that's all I got to say, people. I'm going to send this over to you now, and uh, hopefully I'll find a name of the song, and somebody will have an extra hundred dollars for Valentine's Day coming up. <laughs> Go buy a girlfriend, or take her out to the restaurant. Or buy her a big box of candy and a bunch of flowers. Good enough for both. I mean, one or the other. <laughs> oh well, we'll see you guys during the week. And uh, help me get to 200,000 subscribers. That's my dream. Goodbye. Don't walk, run to Marshalls. For an amazing selection of brand name workout wear and performance gear.